I've been looking back through some really old photos and I've made a list of the top 10 coolest bikes in my opinion. I can't pick a favourite, but let me know which one yours is. The AMP Research B4. Back in the early 90s, when full suspension mountain bikes were just starting to arrive, the AMP looked really ahead of the game. Horse Lightner designed motorcycles and moved over into the mountain bike world, and the fork was especially innovative. Lightner, who designed and made the bikes, eventually sold the Horst Link patent to specialised bikes who now use it in their FSR full suspension bikes. Sean Palmer's Intense M1. When it comes to cool personalities in mountain biking, Sean Palmer has got to be top of the list. He brought this attitude and style from his pro snowboard career, and he had cool custom kit, he brought motocross kit to the downhill world, and also custom painted bikes like this Intense M1 painted by Troy Lee. John Tomax Drop Handlebars Yeti C26. Probably the ultimate all-round mountain biker, John Tomac did things his own way. And this bike goes to prove that. He put drop handlebars on it purely for speed. Racing was all about winning for John Tomac. And the black rubber skin suit, the drop handlebars, the massive chainring and the Toga disc drive were certainly fast, but also looked very cool. The Klein Attitude was another famously cool bike from the 90s. With their large diameter alloy tubing and their garish paint jobs, they certainly stood out from the crowd and all those other old fashioned looking bikes of the time. The Honda RN01. When the giant of the car and the motorcycle world announces it's going to make a downhill bike, everyone stops and take note. The RN01 was designed from the ground up with suspension made by Showa, a gearbox that no one was allowed to look inside, and they turned up to the races with a whole crew of mechanics and engineers, top riders, and then left just a few years later, leaving no trace. The Proflex 956, as ridden by Henrik Giannis. It was definitely a very futuristic looking bike, especially with that Gervin Vector fork up front. Again, another early suspension design from the 90s that would eventually be overtaken by better performing bikes. At the time, they were very cool though. Thomas Frischneck's Ritchie P21. Frischie has had a very long career racing at the top level in mountain biking, but it's this Ritchie P21 that really stands out as an iconic bike. This was as cool as mountain biking could get at the time, in his futuristic looking sunglasses and descending upon his red, white and blue machine. Missy Geoves foes. Missy had a lot of attitude and style, again on and off the bike, and her bike looked like a mini motocross bike with this massive suspension, upside down fork. This really was the look of the late 90s in the downhill world. Martin Ashton's Cannondale Beast of the East. This was actually originally designed for cross-country riding on the east coast of America. Originally used in 1994 by Libor Carras, Martin joined Cannondale in 1995 and won the World Trials Championship on this. Very cool. I think all of these bikes are really cool, but let us know your favourite down in the comment section down below or any other cool bikes you can think of. Click on the GMBA logo here to subscribe or click over there for the top 10 most important bikes of all time. Click down there for when I rode a Proflex 956. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video.